In today's video, I'll be showing you how you can file DoorDash taxes on TurboTax. Now, this is actually a very quick and simple thing to do, and this video is going to give you a step-by-step -step guide on how we can complete this today. To start with, you want to go ahead and open up TurboTax, and from there, we can head over to the left-hand side, where it says 2023 taxes, since that was last year. And we're going to go down to Federal to drop down this menu, and from there, we can click on the first option, which should be Wages and Income. From there, if it's your first time doing it, it will ask you a few different questions which you have to answer honestly. And from there, it will give us a list of things we can start underneath our income and expenses. But the one we want to look for is self-employment income and expenses. So when we find this, we can go over to the right hand side and we can simply click start. From there, it says, did you have any self-employment income or expenses? And it says that it includes work done such as on-demand services like Uber or TaskRabbit. And since we're doing DoorDash as our job, this does fall into this category, so this is correct. So we can go ahead and click yes. And from here, we needed to start answering the questions that they ask us. So it says, tell us the type of self-employment work you do. Since we do food delivery, we're just gonna type in food delivery in here. And once you've typed that out, we can go ahead and click continue. It will then say, let's confirm your food delivery work, and it will just double check to make sure you got it correct. So you can say, yes, I work in food delivery driving, and you can then choose continue. And from here, you will need to answer these questions honestly. Don't just copy what I'm doing because these answers are specific to you. So the first one is, how does your food delivery driving work fit into the big picture? So I'm assuming for most people, it's gonna be their main source of income. So I'm just gonna select this option and I'm gonna click continue. From here, it says, tell us about how long you've worked in food delivery driving. So again, you just wanna answer honestly, I'm just going to say I didn't start or stop food delivery driving in 2023. I can then click continue again. And it will then say, did you pay any employees in 2023? Now, since we're doing delivery driving, I'm assuming that most of you won't be paying employees. So we can pick no, I didn't and click continue. And from there, it says, did you make these payments for your food delivery driving work? Did you pay a contractor $600 or more to do work for you? And did you make payments that required you to send a 1099 form? So if you did, you can click yes. However, if you didn't, you could click no. From there, we can click continue. And it will now say, tell us if any of these less common situations apply to this work. And you can select all that apply. So you can pick multiple if you need, but I'm just gonna choose none of these apply. From there, we get taken to this page where we can see our food delivery driving info. And this will show us the answers that we just gave to TurboTax. So we wanna just scroll down and then we wanna make sure that all of this is correct. Then if we're happy with all this, we can go ahead and click looks good. And from here, if you actually drove for Uber Eats, you're able to import in your food delivery income. But since we're working for DoorDash, unfortunately, this is not going to be an option. So I'm going to choose to skip this step. It will then say, what type of income did you receive for this work? And for DoorDash, you typically receive a form 1099 NEC. So I'm going to choose this as an option. However, you want to double check and make sure you select the correct form. From there, you can click continue. And from here, we just have to answer some questions for our 1099. So to start with, it says who paid you. And since we're getting paid by DoorDash, we can simply type DoorDash Inc. And then it will say, how is your payer's federal ID number formatted? So it could be like this, or it could be like this, like a social security number. So you need to have a look and find which one it is. And when you select it, you can then paste in the EIN number also. Or if you chose this option, you can paste in the payer's social security number. From there, we have two boxes, box one and box four. And box one is related to your non-employee compensation and box two is related to your federal income tax withheld. So you can just put in the correct amounts in here. And finally, we have two more questions. The first one you want to tick if you've made direct sales totaling $5,000 or more of consumer products to recipient for resale. And the second box you want to tick if your form has information in boxes five to seven. From there, we can go ahead and click continue We've now reached this section where we can import expense transactions. So all you have to do from here is carry on answering these questions honestly, and it's pretty straightforward, so it should be pretty simple to do. If you are struggling, I would recommend that you go up to the top right corner and click live tax advice. And if you actually pay for a subscription with TurboTax, they do actually give you some expert live assistance and that can help you save a lot of money on your expenses if you are struggling to do this tax return yourself. Of course, this isn't necessary, but it does mean a tax expert can help you out. And an expert can also give it a final review before you file to make sure you've done everything as best as you can. So that's how you can file DoorDash taxes on TurboTax. 
I hope you found this video helpful and thanks for watching.